What is up guys, MiniMean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This, guys, is going to be the Queen Live Aid Stadium, or stage, we'll call it. Um, this event took place at Wembley, uh, Wembley Stadium, and I finally got that built here. I know you guys have been, had been wanting to see that for a while, so here's what that looks like. And here's what the stage looks like, guys. I think it looks all really awesome. Um, it is so perfect. Um, I was a, I've always been a pretty big fan of Queen, but the inspiration for this actually was the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, that really showed how crazy of a event this was. Um, or if you want to watch the actual set, go on YouTube. There's tons of videos of the set there. But this is arguably their most famous show. That's why I decided to do it. Um, yeah, so let's go down into the stage, guys. So, and it's kind of a cluster in the back, like there's different types of amps and stuff, and a lot of that's just because there were so many different musicians that were playing this show, um, and if you didn't know, there's actually, there were two stages, there was one in Philadelphia and then one here at Wembley, um, so obviously I'm just doing the Wembley one because of Queen, um, but yeah, so there's a lot, a lot of different musicians that played um, this stage, so I mean, I think that's why it kind of looked a little bit different, they were always moving stuff in and taking stuff off and whatnot, so, so over here we've got the piano that Freddie would sit at. Um, I know, like at the beginning, he was playing the song Bohemian Rhapsody, so um, he sat there. We've got some flower pots that are actually supposed to represent all the cups because they had like different cups with like soda or water and beer. Um, so they had a ton of stuff there. And like I said, we've got some different looking amps there. And then this is Roger's uh, drum kit. So you can kind of sit down here and kind of see what it would look like. So just imagine that full of people, just a whole wall of it's It's crazy how many people were actually at this show. Um, and then over here, we've got two different mic stands where Freddie never really used a mic stand. He used like a half a mic stand thing that he kind of just walked around with. But Brian May usually, I believe, would kind of, if he needed to do any backup vocals, would come over here. And I don't know if John Deacon ever really did any backup vocals, but if he did, this is where he'd be. Um, these stairs in the front are the amps that were uh, set up at the front of the stage, kind of pointing upwards. Um, so those were white. And then there were some lights along the top, and then we've got all the big light fixtures here. That's really the big light setup that they had there. I thought about putting some glowstone and stuff in here, but I decided it looked good as is. So yeah, so here's what the stage looks like, guys. These black sections back here are actually the, the Live Aid logo with the black, it's a black um, image of Africa. Kind of like over here, we've got the big image of Africa that actually had a guitar that came up. Um, and then it's obviously it said Live Aid. They used the eyes to kind of be... The, the neck of the guitar um, and then obviously along the top here it says feed the world July 1985 at Wembley Stadium it actually said feed the world July 13th 1985 at Wembley Stadium but because of how things worked out I couldn't fit the 13th in there but it still looks good this is the first time I've ever actually utilized making letters and numbers with banners and now that I've got it figured out, I'm going to use it a lot more because it look makes things look so much better than trying to go through and just make it be sections of white and just say that's what it says. Um, then there was some more of these. These, I don't even, the banners that are set up, I don't really know what they were for. I think it was just like an, a printed image along um, the top and the sides and whatnot of just like these different colors. And that they kind of had the same thing set up in the back here. So if we kind of go back, with Minecraft it kind of sucks, it'll start to disappear, as you can see there. So you can kind of imagine it like this. This is kind of what it was supposed to look like. It was supposed to kind of make it look better. Um, and then we've got two screens, one on each side, as you guys can see there, for all the folks who are off in the back or wherever. That you know, Any big festival has that. If you guys have never been to a big music festival, there's almost always screens. Some of them are big enough that they actually have screens even farther back because... I mean, these guys look so small. I mean, if we look at, you know, just this mic stand, for instance, I mean, that's obviously skinnier than a person, but, or even how tall the amps are. The amps are set up to be the same height as the Minecraft person. If we fly all the way back here, and let's say we're just sitting in this section like this, you can barely see it, you know, so that's why they had that. But yeah, so this is what it looks like, guys. I Like I said, I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. Let me know down below. Um, now that I have Wembley built, I'll be doing other stuff, um, other events that took place in Wembley. Um, but I obviously wanted to do this one first. I mentioned on a live stream a while back that I wanted to do this, and now I finally got it done. So let me know down below, guys, what you guys think of the stadium, what you guys think of the stage. Um, and let me know what else you guys want to see me build. Um, I'm trying to, I'm still doing WWE or AEW stuff. You know, I'm still doing wrestling stuff, but I'm trying to step away 
and broaden my horizon a little bit um, just because I don't want my YouTube channel to just be known for WWE stadiums. I want to be known for being a Minecraft builder. So let me know other things you guys want to see me build. Obviously, as you guys can see this, I can build damn near anything. So let me know down below what you guys want to see me build. And with that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much it helps me out. If you guys want to see some exclusive time lapses or get some other uh, awesome perks, take a look at my Patreon account. Um, that's going to be in the description. You can take a look at my online store. That's also going to be in the description. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, follow my social medias. And if you guys want to um, download a map, go to whatever video you want and go click the download button. Um, I'm going slowly going through from most recent to farther back to get the downloads in. So when you go to the video, if it's not there, check back in a few days because chances are it'll probably be there then. I've been working really hard to try to get that done. So... That I just have to go through every single video and add in the links and change the description. So, I mean, it's just a really long, tedious process. But I'm working on it. Once I have it done now, then I shouldn't have to touch it again. I have to go through each one because I want to add the Bedrock Edition download and because the old um, ad service I was using was really, really bad. It was really hard for people to get downloads. So, yeah. With that, guys, like I said, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good one.